Hello everyone, it's Angela Nesbitt and welcome to My Color Story. Today we are talking about harmony and harmony in our paintings and what does that mean and how can we create more of it? So harmony is just when our painting and our colors are all unified and they play nicely together and they work really well together versus having a chaotic palette that is busy and doesn't seem to relate and might even make you a little nervous, which honestly, that's not what I want to achieve in my paintings. So I love harmony. So when we walk through the paint store, there's hundreds of choices. Like by the time you go through all the different brands and all the different names, I mean, how do we create harmony with all these different paint choices? Because right out of the tube, these paint colors don't necessarily have a whole lot to do with one another unless they're really, really close in color. So our color wheel can actually help us out in kind of pointing us in the right direction when we're trying to create harmony. First of all, the color wheel shows you the closer our colors are together, the more related they are. So the yellow orange, the yellow, the yellow green, they all have yellow in them. So they're already related, which is awesome. It tells us that, it gives us this information. But say we're starting with yellow, the further we move away from yellow around the color wheel and we start getting into blue green, well, there's not any yellow there and then blue and blue violet, and then we get all the way around to the complement. Now we're all, all the way around to the opposite side to the complement, and these two colors have nothing in common. They are the, the most opposite that you can be um, on the color wheel. So they have their purposes and they do great things, but they are not, they do not have harmony. They have actually a little bit of discord because they, they create a lot of vibration on the canvas. So those are things that we can keep in mind. So a few ways that we can create harmony on our canvas is, I'm just gonna sh share a few that I think work great. The first is just to start with a limited palette, meaning you don't use a ton of different colors in your paintings so that you can your colors are more likely to, to unify and have a little bit of each other in the other one if you don't have so many colors to choose from. So that's a great way to start, is limit your palette. You know, limit yourself to maybe six colors or maybe even three um, and see how much that helps you to just create this very, with ease and grace, very easily create harmony. Secondly, we can use color schemes that are fantastic. And there's a lifetime of, of teaching and knowledge in all of these color schemes, but you can use complementary color schemes, which are using, you're using the opposite, but you're using a dominant in one. You, if you pick a complementary color scheme, you're gonna be dominant in one of the colors, and then you're gonna use just a smaller amount of the complement to create some zing and some excitement. You also can make some amazing neutrals and grays from those complements together that really can support that whole painting. You also can use triads, which are just colors that are equally spaced around. You pick a primary. Um, that are equally spaced around the color wheel. Those create nice harmony in paintings. You also can use analogous co um, color schemes, which are just choosing colors that are close together on the color wheel, or monochromatic, which are paintings that are just using one color and all the different values and, um, and use it and, you know, that will create great harmony. So I encourage you to explore color schemes. There's tons and tons of knowledge out there and information that you can dive into and create your palettes that way. You also can create a mother color, which just means that you have some sort of color that is in each color, even if it's just a teeny bit. 
So you might mix up a gray or you might use just simply a color like a blue and put a little bit of that blue in each color. That can unify your palette and bring it together and create a tremendous amount of harmony. Toning your canvases underneath in, in solid colors creates nice harmony and then also glazing your paintings helps to create harmony. So I hope these tips and um, and suggestions help bring in some harmony into your paintings going forward. And I'd love to hear in the comments how you guys are creating harmony. It's it's just a, a beautiful harmonious painting is just it's just so awesome. So I'd love to hear your tips and what's working for you. And um, until next week, cheers.